As we celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month here at CBS2, tonight we are introducing you to a creator, someone who turned his love of making things with his hands into a brand that's a love letter to the city of Chicago and his Mexican heritage. He shared his story with our Marie Saavedra. Inside a warehouse in Melrose Park, Emmanuel Cabrera is putting in work to make his passion his full-time job. And it's special to catch him at this point as his business is breaking through because it took a lot to get here. I was always just interested in, in how things were made. A curious kid raised in Melrose Park, Cabrera was always drawn to design, then fabrics. I went to the University of YouTube and Google, and, so, and that's how I learned to sew, actually. He became the family member or friend who'd tailor your clothes. Then he spun that skill into a successful company, Midwest Cargo Equipment, that, among other things, sews tarps for truck drivers. That have been my main focus, my, my day job, I guess you could say. But at night, he started making modern clothing with nods to the cultures that shaped him. Mexican tradition and Chicago pride. I pour everything into this one idea, whether it's a t-shirt, a hoodie, uh, pants. In 2018, he gave his gig a name, Gente Fina. We were listening to a Trump, something was going on with Trump at that time. We will build the wall. And he was talking about immigrants coming into this country, and he said they're, they're not fine people or something like that. First it was like, yo, what is this guy talking about? But then we're like, that's it, like, Gente Fina, which means fine people in Spanish. The brand reflects the kind of people Cabrera aims to represent with his work. And where I'm from in Mexico, it's called Durango, Mexico and it's basically the symbol of that state. Children of immigrants and blue-collar Midwesterners who work harder. Being a Latino, yeah, you have to work harder. For Cabrera, that meant finding ways to get the word out about his pieces. So he cooked up a giveaway on social media with one of the biggest and best-loved brands in town. You want to win this jacket, all you have to do is just tag your favorite Bulls player. So we got hundreds and hundreds of comments, and that got a lot of the players' attention, so they would started messaging us, hey, can you make a custom jacket for me? It was point guard Ayo Jishumu who first donned a Hente Fina jacket. Then a year later, the Bulls organization placed an order for more. So this is one of my first pieces that I, I made for, uh, for women wear. With all that new attention, Cabrera's made some new pieces. But he's just as thrilled to know someone from the neighborhood is wearing his clothes. The community that inspires him is the same one cheering him on, as if they're along for the ride. That's one thing that I did not expect. Immigrant parents or uh, just Latinos in general who just feel connected to the brand. It became more than just a brand. It became more than just clothes. Uh, so I do get a lot of love. Somebody order a bull jacket today? He's making the fine people of Chicago very proud. That was Marie Saavedra reporting for a link to Shop Hente Fina. You can check out the story on our website, cbschicago.com. A shift to Albert now. It's great to see a success story like that, for especially sure. when they're self-taught, right? I love that, the University of YouTube and Google. We've all been there. <laughs> I think I have a doctorate degree on the YouTube <laughs> yeah, masters, channel. Yeah. Masters, for sure. 